healing your DNA. In our lifetimes or in, as a human here on earth, through our ancestral lines, there has been always genetic modification. We are, our DNA is changing and developing through the generations, through the field of, first of all, interacting with each other or intimacy with each other, through the foods we're eating, through the environment impact, through life itself. If you imagine the DNA strands in pure creation, pure flow, for me that is when you're thriving, when the DNA is literally being supported by the food, by the environment, by you as a creator, by your stem cells, by your spirit, totally aligned with spirit. If you imagine the DNA strands spiraling and you imagine say the color spectrum flowing down from the heavens, flowing down from above and moving, spiraling. And when they're spiraling, there's also outer layers, not just the tighter layers which are spiraling, but the strands, the two strands, or it's not only them that's moving, there's outer strands, which man has not, or human aspect has not been aware of yet. So there's larger strands which are being impacted and which are in flow and resonance with the light codes, with creation, with the breathing, the life of creation of the universe, which runs through us. The stars are literally in us. The universe is in us, the ocean is in us, the forests are in us. And we are that resonance. And as a human, we feel or we think that even a topic we're working on or we feel in our system is our personal topic. It is our personal topic. On a greater scale, it's the whole universe's topic and it's been transformed and been supported by the universe, breathing through us, transforming. There are constant light codes coming down through our system and constant support from creation inside and creation outside. In every breath, we can breathe in what our body needs, what our soul needs, and release and detox what our spirit doesn't need or our body doesn't need when we're in total flow and balance. So what takes us out of flow and what takes us out of balance and what takes our DNA out of balance? I can only speak for myself and my own experience of working with the DNA. When I first started working with the DNA, I could see the strands. It's just a natural gift I have. We all have different gifts, but I could see the coding of the DNA. And what I was guided to do was to align our whole space for each of the codes within the DNA that was out of sequence, the sequences in it. So which was out of resonance with spirit, with, with creation. And it's almost like a Rubik's cube that was turned in the wrong way, and that's out of resonance, and then it's in flow again. So when you bring the heart frequency and hold space and acceptance and really embody, stay in this field, which we're in at the moment, there's a transformation and there is a healing on a DNA level, a soul level, and a physical level, on all levels of the spirit, mind, body, spirit. So in this webinar, I want to set the intention to focus on all strands of DNA which have been altered. What I mean by altered, it could be from toxicity from the outer world, the magnetic field, uh, the electromagnetic field. It could be through the environmental toxins, through the food manipulation, or changing of the food genetically, which has an impact on the DNA. It could be through different medicines. Open your imagination, your vision, and you will know what I'm talking about or what's in resonance with you. So 
For me, the strands are, as I said, the, esoter the etheric fields of the full color spectrum and they're flowing. Now, what I observe is what cuts them off from those higher fields or higher support, I'll say, which helps us thrive, is when there's a fear involved, when there's a lower density mindset put into the system, or when man tampers with the natural coding, which is in creation, which is in flow. So when there's a manipulation of the DNA strands, it's almost like you're stopping that light codes flowing through on that Pacific, Pacific frequency or coding, which spirit has to thrive. So if you imagine the whole body like strands and flows of colors of light, almost like a harp playing, you're silencing some of those or freezing some of those strings or sometimes cutting some of those strings. So when the full harp is in resonance and flow, the strands are thriving and supporting each one of our vibrational beings to heal and to transform. In this webinar, I'll be working with aligning with the natural blueprint of your God code, your creator code, and seeing where there is no resonance with creation. Imagine you're playing the harp on pure creation frequencies. It will then show up the resonance, which is not in resonance with that. And then your spirit can start activating and remembering to go back into total flow and balance again. Sometimes those strands within the DNA has been altered. Your spirit is stronger than that altar. The, the strands of that have been altered by the human aspect, by science. And you can, your spirit can reset the coding. It's almost like the phantom limb. When you lose a limb, the spirit is still there. It's the same thing with the strands. If they've been altered, your spirit knows remembers how to activate and how to go back into flow and resonance again with creation. Fears, mindsets, genetic manipulation takes you out of this flow. So I'll be working or supporting the whole space for you to, to go into total resonance on a soul DNA level to the highest frequency of your creation, of your sovereign being on every level of your health, of your spirit, of this ecosystem inside you and around you, which is here to thrive and here to live life, to flow in life, love life, loving the flow of spirit. And it's not even about life, it's simply flow because we flow into this body and we flow out of the body as well. So we are spirit, vibrational beings, which is larger than this vessel here. We are huge creators here in this human aspect. And when we fully embody this human aspect with the awareness of this flow and creation and go back into pure resonance, that is the vibration, and that is how we recreate from the heart frequency a new world, heaven on earth. If you feel resonance with this webinar, we'll be working on detoxing, aligning, and going back into resonance with you as a creator, a sovereign creator, sovereign being, and reclaiming sovereignty on every level of your resonance, of your being, of your vibration, of your blueprint on a DNA level, which is much more than the human knows. As I said, there's much more strands there than we know. So I look forward to seeing you at the webinar. It is a time for shifting, a time for remembering, a time for healing, and resetting and reclaiming sovereignty of our DNA, our own creator, our own sovereignty on every level of the purest form of creation to thrive 
in this physical aspect while I'm in this physical aspect. Have a beautiful day and maybe I see you at the webinar. Thank you. Send you so much love and gratitude. Thank you.